All right, next up, Emily Wynn from Villa Park High School. From Villa Park High School. All right, coachable. You ready for this? Your dad's really nervous. I'm ready. Well. All right, I like this. Um, so Emily is a four-year varsity letter uh, winner in golf. She's the Century Conference MVP uh, three years. Four years? Three Three years, okay. We won't talk about that fourth. Um, Century Conference first team, Century Conference team league champions all four years, team MVP all four years, CIF qualifier all four years. Wow, you're good at golf. Got a lot good, yeah, got some good golfers. Um, now, academically, she's no slouch, as you say. She's a 4.76 GPA, AP scholar, CIF academic team champion, service academy, and all. Um, Service Academy a Congressional nomination. Um, now, your sister's a golfer as well. Yes, sir. So who wins between the sisters? Our official match during my freshman year, I came out with a chance. You took her? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Remember that, sister. She got you. By a landslide. All right. Um, awesome. We, we like the family, you know, we like to bring the families into this. Um, all right, so extracurricular, you've also been involved with California Scholarship Federation, National Honor Society, and U.S. Kids Golf Orange County. Um, so how, talk about that experience of uh, you giving back to the youth and kind of teaching them. What did you get out of that experience? Well, volunteering for U.S. Kids is different because normally um, as a tournament player, you're used to be on the course and going behind the ropes and trying to you know, conduct everything together and trying to get kids who are just playing golf to understand the rules and knowing where to go. It's kind of, kind of a struggle a little bit sometimes, but um, at the end of the day, you're doing better for them because they're learning about a sport that can last a lifetime. Yeah. And, you know, the bond between parents and kids because U.S. Kids allows um, the parents to caddy. Mm. It really makes a bond between parents and child. Awesome. Okay, so if you could play one round, Tiger Woods or Michelle Wee? Tiger Woods. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, wow, yeah, Tiger. Talk about Tiger. Um, uh, all right, so, so your money's on him this weekend, PGA Championship? Maybe on the side. Okay, okay, I like it. All right, next up, now golf is such a hard game. You describe yourself in your letter as an optimist. I think uh, as a golfer you have to be, right? Now, what has the game of golf taught you, and how will this be a strength to you moving forward? You know, golf, to me, has always been like an individual sport. Um, you know, ultimately, when you're playing a team, you still have to take care of your own shots and develop your own way to, you know, finish the hole out. You know, there's so many ways. There's, you don't just sit in the fairway get on. You can, you know, get in the worst trouble, but the real important thing is how you get out of it, which is what I take and, um, look into when I go forward with my life. Because in any situation where you're at a low, you can find yourself uh, way out. And, um, you know, I had one of the lowest times I, after my sophomore year, and I was really considering on quitting. But, um, you know, I really dug deep. I worked hard for what I wanted. I stayed true to myself. And, you know, I was able to reach out to coaches and, you know, have a shot at going to um, places that I want to go, such as Naval Academy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So talk to us about that. What is your plan for the fall? So as of right now, I am signed to play golf at Missouri University of Science and Technology in Rolla, Missouri. Um, I'm waitlisted for Naval Academy, so if I get off the waitlist, I will be going there. Okay. Um, during fall, I'm going to try and apply again since um, I've had the congressional nomination from 45th District with Mimi Walters, and I've gone to NRTC scholarship with the Marine option. But um, I'm gonna try again, and if not, I can call through with golf at Missouri Science and Tech. Awesome. Uh, so with that, you talk about leaving a legacy and, um, and also inspiring those around you, and I think you're gonna succeed, we're believers. Uh, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, join me uh, in congratulating Emily Nguyen from Villa Park High School. Congratulations. Great job.